welcome to Supervale Sews. My name's Sarah, thanks for joining me today. Uh, sorry, my posting has been really sporadic recently. Um, there's just been loads going on. I had my hen weekend last weekend. I'm doing lots of wedding sewing um, and lots of other just wedding stuff. And yeah, you're also getting a different view of this room because this view room is in chaos. Uh, we moved it around because one of my friends stayed for the hen and then I've been sewing up flower girl dresses and they're is an obscene amount of I've got these like mass lengths of fabric to make them so um it's chaos so I've just changed the view for today um and hopefully we'll be back in front of the fabric soon um so yeah so what's been happening as I said the hen happened I wore the most extra outfit so um I had sort of three outfits over the two days um it was actually quite a low-key hen it was at my parents house my parents went away for the weekend um, that was sort of the base and then we just went out in the local area and everything which was really nice um, So the first day we went for brunch and we made some flower crowns and stuff and for that initial part I wore my um, Tilly and the Buttons Mabel dress, I'll put, put a picture here, uh, which is in this strawberry print fabric from Fabric Godmother, it's a viscose linen um, And then later that evening we went out now, I, I think I'd already sort of shown you my outfit for that. So this is not the dress I made, but it is the, using the same pattern. I'll put a picture up of the dress I made, um, which was the By Hand London Lucy dress, which is one of their, one of their self-drafted patterns. Um, and for the hen, I made it in this really gorgeous sort of brocade fabric from Fabric Godmother. In It says gold and lavender. The lavender is very, very light, so it looks kind of like a grey colour. Um... But yeah, so here is the dress I made. We're calling this Maximalist Bride, okay? I'm a Maximalist Bride. Um, I also have here to show you the little matching bag I made. So this is the Sew Over It bow bag. Um, really, really speedy sew. You can sort of see here I use, so for this layer, I used the reverse of the fabric. And then this is the main side. And then on the back, it's just plain. And then it's got a nice zip. The only thing that I should have done that I didn't do was I should have top stitched the zip. So we've got this nice rose gold zip and some nice lining. Um, I didn't top stitch along here because I didn't like the look of it. Um, but it does mean the lining keeps catching in the zip. So you live and you learn. I might top stitch it sort of like after the fact. Um, but yeah, I'm really, it's a super speedy sew. It uses barely any fabric. So it is the perfect little project for if you've just got a bit of fabric left over. Um, and it's so cute when you have a matching, like a bag to match your look, I think. Um, so yeah, so that's the bag. The Lucy dress, I feel the same way I felt about this one. I really loved it. Um, it is obviously, I mean, with this fabric, which is a Duchess satin, um, it holds the uh, sort of fold in the sleeves really nicely. Whereas the um, brocade fabric just has a bit more structure. So the sleeves really puff up. Um, yeah, so it was like a, a slightly more dramatic silhouette. I also should have used in the second dress, the elastic I used in the shoulder was slightly less um, strong. So it just sat a bit low in the back, which irritated me. Um, but it's not too tricky to replace. Um, yeah, so that was the look for that. And I also thought I would show you the pièce de résistance, which is this hat, which currently won't sit on my head because I've got pins in. Um, how good is this hat? How good is this hat? My friend um, Sophie bought it for me. Um, we went to the National Wedding Fair, uh, like last year, was it? It was like a few months before she was getting married. Um, and obviously I still had a bit of time, but we tried on very similar versions of this hat and I just could not believe <laughs> that she got it for me. So this is definitely coming out again at the wedding reception. Like, it'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? Because I don't know when else I'm gonna wear it, to be fair. But yeah, the, the best wedding hat of all time. Um, so yeah, so that was my going out look. So we went out for dinner and to a nice bar on the Saturday evening. And that was my look for that. And then on the Sunday, it was Disney themed. Um, so one of my favorite Disney films is Moana. Um, and they had got all these like nice flowers for our hair and these, um, I can't remember what they're called, the strings of flowers you wear around your neck um, and like these coconut cups to drink out of. 
and then they'd put all this food out and it all had labels that linked it to like Disney stuff. So there was like these, there were these like um, bread sticks with chocolate on the end and they were like the, the fairy godmother's magic wand. And there were, there was just all sorts. It was really, really good um, and just so thoughtful and they were so kind. Um, and then we played games. They'd all bought different games all day. So we played games um, and just chatted. And it was honestly such a nice weekend. I felt really lucky, really loved. And um, yeah, I had a great hen. Love my outfits. Um, a bit of a journey I've been on. I was talking to you about the, so the Lucy dress I wore on the Saturday, possibly having that as a dress I change into at the wedding. But another thing that happened this week is that I went to collect my actual wedding dress. And it's so good. I can't wait to show you eventually once the wedding's passed. Um, it's a designer called Studio Levana. Now, I, I think I've said this to you before. I know a lot of sewists like to make their own wedding dress. I just thought it seemed very, very stressful. <laughs> um, I would have found it really difficult because I didn't know exactly what I wanted, I don't think. Um, and I would have procrastinated and it would have not been good. And also, I sort of wanted, like, I know my limitations. I wanted something that is more advanced than something that I think I would be able to execute. Um, so I went to collect my dress. It's by a brand called Studio Levana, and they, A, they specialise in plus size dresses. They have really interesting designs. So I think often with plus size wedding dresses, they're quite limited or they can be a bit like old fashioned or I think they just assume that you just want to look a certain way. Um, and with these, they have really loads of different styles. It was sort of every type of bride could find their dress in their collection. But the really cool thing is they let you switch things around for free. So, for example, you can say, I like that dress, but I want it in that fabric. Or I like this dress, but I want these sleeves. Or I want to add this or I want to take this away. And they don't charge you any extra for that, which is amazing. So I had obviously tried the dress on, but there are a few things that they changed that I asked to change. So ultimately, when you put it on again, it's a it's a new dress. It's your personalised dress. Um, and the changes were so perfect. And... Um, like I just couldn't find a better dress for, for my taste I just loved it I burst into tears my mum burst into tears it was just like great so I've now sort of decided I don't think I actually want to get changed out of that I think it's such a beautiful dress and again it's your day to wear it so I'm going to just stay in it the whole time if it gets uncomfortable I'm just gonna I'm just gonna suffer to look beautiful I'm just gonna add the hat and then be ready for party time so um yeah so that's that now one other wedding -y bit to show you. Now, I wasn't going to share all the stuff on here, but I don't know how many people who are, like, coming to the wedding really watch my YouTube videos anyway, because obviously they're a bit niche. So I thought, I'll share it with you guys, my YouTube friends. So I finished one of the flower girl dresses yesterday. Now, I say finished very loosely, because I need to hem it, because I've got to wait for, this is for the youngest flower girl to come round, so I can just check the skirt length before I hem it. Um, I'm also toying with a couple of things. One is I've currently got some horsehair braid pinned into the hem. Um, and I, ha again, I haven't decided. I think I want to see it on her to decide whether that's a route to go down or not. Um, and also there's an option in this pattern to add a ruffle of tulle. So you attach it to the lining and it just adds a bit of body. Um, but I just don't want it to look too obvious. So I've ordered some tulle in the same colour as the lining fabric or a similar colour. And I'm going to try and sort of pin it on and see how it looks. But I do think the skirt could do with some more volume. So here is a look at the dress. Now that's the back of the dress, sorry. This is the front of the dress. So you can see the horsehair um, braid here. So it just makes, sorry, my arm's not long enough for this. It makes the skirt stick out a bit more, but obviously then this skirt underneath just looks a bit flat. So what I'm toying with is if I add the tulle, so basically you really gather the tulle up a lot and you put a lace, you sew it in about here um, and it'll make it stick out a bit more, but I'm just worried it'll just look a bit funny. I don't know. So anyway, this is the first dress. This is the experiment dress. Um, I have lined the sleeves and the whole bodice is lined. Um, the skirt currently just has two layers. So it has the lining layer and the tulle layer. Um, yeah, I think it's going to look really cute, to be honest. I mean, I don't know. There's part of me with the skirt that I'm like, when you've got a small child wearing it and walking around, is anyone going to 
be bothered about the volume it's like nice to have the swishiness um I don't know I think mainly when I was planning my flower girl dresses um I really wanted it to be a dress that the girls would like to wear and when I was a kid I loved wearing things that were sparkly I loved I had these sparkly like Dorothy shoes that I loved and wanted to wear everywhere um I wanted things that were like fun and for the flower girls I just thought I want it to be a dress that they are excited to wear um rather than I mean the thing is I think the plain white flower girl dresses look absolutely beautiful um and they're very tasteful but if you haven't told by everything I showed you um I'm, I am a bit more maximalist in my tastes um and yeah I just thought these would look really cute super cute they're gonna have their little flower crowns oh they're gonna look so sweet anyway that's the first one done which is a relief um as I said the only other things I have to do with it are to do with getting the length right and also a couple of um last minute design details but I think I cannot make those until I see them on um this is for Rosie my youngest goddaughter so uh yeah so I finished one of those I'm hoping to get the another one sewn up next week I've got the eldest um coming flower girl who's 10 she's coming for a fitting tomorrow um which is going to be a bit stressful she's sort of in between so they have like a children's size range and a tween size range and she's like just on the cusp um and not, none of them really fit exactly so I'm gonna have to do some grading and play around a bit but um yeah but so that's happening tomorrow and so then I can just keep sewing um now the other thing I've not really been buying fabric or anything um because I've just got too much to do um the sew safari my pattern challenge my sewing challenge if you haven't seen there's another video on the channel from last week um that is sort of going ahead on instagram and uh will be starting so you can post any day in september i've just posted some stories of fabrics that i might use uh, from my stash i've also on my instagram stories been sharing some fabrics on other websites that i've seen that would work um and i'll probably do a youtube video with some of those things as well so if you don't look over on instagram i will do a video at some point it's just uh too much happening at the minute but the one thing I did buy was from um, Sister Mintaka now I don't know if you've shopped from them before they have really gorgeous range of often quite like bright really beautiful quality fabric um, and the other day Sandeep who runs Sister Mintaka um, or Mintaka I don't know how you say it um, she posted that they had these patches and I just thought they were so pretty I went on to buy one specific one and then I ended up buying three. Um, so the one that I bought and went on for initially was this. Now, I don't know how well they go. If I hold it like that, it doesn't reflect too much. Um, I thought it would be really nice on some pyjamas. I was initially thinking, because I'm going to make pyjamas to wear for the wedding, like they're getting ready. And initially, I had sort of thought that this would work well on that. But in hindsight, I don't know that it would. I think I just wanted the patch um <laughs> but yeah so that was the one that I went on for which I thought was very nice now when I was on there they had a series of animals and one thing so me and Nathan when uh we'd been together a few months he went away for a wedding uh his friend's wedding which was in Sicily and I couldn't go because I had a singing contract and he came back and he bought us these turtle matching turtle necklaces and um we both still have them for i'd say for the first two years after that we both wore them every day um and so i found this little turtle patch and i couldn't say no i just thought it was really cute and i like the sort of celestial vibe like i mean there's not a zodiac sign of the turtle is there but i just like this the celestial vibe and the color palette i think it's cute so i got that and then because i can't control myself they also had this enormous scarab beetle which again, I just thought on a sweatshirt is going to look so good. Um, so I think I might make, is it the Sew House? I could make the Billy sweatshirt or Sew House 7. What was that sweater pattern called? I can't remember what the Sew House 7 sweater's called, but there's a Sew House 7 sweater pattern. It's got like a little funnel neck. You can make like a cropped one or a longer one. And I just sort of feel like this would look cute on one of those. So um, yeah, couldn't control myself terrible and now I've discovered this brand it's called oh gosh it looks like French I don't think I can say this Malicuse dot DIY M-A-L-I-C-I-E-U-S-E dot DIY I'll pop them on here they'll be on Instagram so this could be a slippery slope because the patches are just really cute 
I did check for this large patch. I googled because I didn't know. I was like, uh, is, am I ever paying for it? Because it wasn't cheap. But actually, a lot of the other comparable patches of this size and detail were about £30. And this one was £17. So, um, yeah. So I feel like that was a pretty good deal, actually. So they're iron on. Um, whenever I use patches normally, I'll iron them on. And then you just sew around the edge. Just because otherwise they sometimes come off in the washing machine. Which I learnt when I made a jumper for my godchild. Um, and the llama fell off. So yeah, so that's that's it for me. So as I've said, it is going to be a bit more sporadic for the next few weeks. Um, wedding is less than two months away. I've got three more flower girl dresses and I presume you don't want to see every single one because they're going to look the same. Um, so that's probably not the most exciting thing to show you. Um, I've obviously got this sewing challenge I'm running as well. Um, yeah, there's just too much happening. Going back to work in a couple of weeks. Um, yeah, so I do apologise if I'm slightly less regular in my posting, I promise. Once the wedding is out of the way, I'll be back into a routine. But it's it's partly just that I don't think I have as many interesting things to show you if I'm just sewing up the same things all the time, um, which is the joy of weddings. So now for that, so as I said, I've got the four flower girl dresses to do, which will be quite time consuming. Um, I've got the big sew off coming up, so I need to cut out my projects for that. So I'll update you when I've picked exactly what I'm going to sew. Um, and then other things for the wedding, I'm going to sew some nice pyjamas and a robe. I'm going to make some little bags for the kids to, um, have their activity packs in for dinner. Um, is that it? I think that's it. And then we're going on a mini moon just after that. So once I get the wedding stuff sewn up, we're going to Scotland just for a few days. Um, so I'm not going to go crazy sewing things for that, but I might use it if I have time as an opportunity to get some of my autumn makes on the go so i need to have a think about that but yeah thanks so much for tuning in i hope you're really well um please let me know what you've been up to if you're thinking of doing the um so safari challenge let me know um if you have views on what i should do with the bottom of my flower girl dresses let me know that too um and yeah have a great week see you later guys bye <laughs>